how can it be okay that you fall in love with someone, you have this strong connection, very strong connection, everything is perfect. And a year, two or three later, maybe even longer, poof, the relationship is over. What to do about that? Is it even okay? Is it even acceptable? Well, I'm going to give my perspective on this one from my personal experience and from what I've seen around me and from my clients. So buckle up. Let's dive into this. It's going to be a rough ride. Like, subscribe and share. Hi, my name is Lotfi Mirat. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about relationships, how it is possible that a beautiful, strong, bonded relationship can expire. In certain societies, when people meet and they fall in love, within three to six months, they get married. Or at least the guy buys an expensive ring with a big diamond on it for the woman. And you already see from my face, I'm like, eh, yeah, judgment, mm, fuck it. It's a society thing that people need to get married and say that they commit for life. But in reality, they don't. Almost no one commits for life. Saying it, writing it down, having some old guy that you never met put a stamp on it and say, okay, for life now. Yeah. Saying it in front of a hundred or a thousand peoples. No. No. On soul level, it's not happening. And when your soul doesn't want something, your mind can try to still do it, but you will fail. People come and go in life. Your parents even, your children even. You will not be together forever. One of you will die before the other, or you will die at the same time. You will still not be together, at least not in this physical reality. Your children will leave home have their own lives, you may have a serious conflict with one of your children, you will never see your child again, or not for a very long time. There are so many reasons why all kinds of relationships will not last forever. Even friendships change over time, become intenser or less intense, or cool down for a while, or just end. And that's not end of the world, it's not a drama, yes, it can feel painful, but pain comes from resistance. Resistance is often there because we believe something is bad when it ends. That change is bad, we're being raised with the concept that change is bad for us. That keeping everything the way it is, is the safest. But it's this not. Because if that would have been true, then none of us would be speaking today. Because we would have kept the way we were at birth. Screaming when we need something. And even pooping and peeing ourselves. Hey, no, we, we don't want that. We want to grow, we want to evolve, we want to become bigger, we want to become smarter, to have new things. We want change. Ah, but not for the things that we do not know in what they will change and if it will actually be good for us or not. So it's the unknown that scares us. Well, I can tell you, the next person you meet and that you really like you do not know everything about the person. You cannot know everything about the person. And you definitely will not know how things will work out in the end. The only thing you know is how you feel in the moment when you meet the person. The only thing you know now is how you feel now listening to this. 
I never got married. I'm almost 52 years old, never got married. People might say, oh, loser. Or like, ah, always the bachelor. No. I have been in multiple committed relationships. I have lived together with different women, not at the same time. And every time I felt like, yeah, this is the one. And it was at that moment. And if I look at all my relationships, especially the women I, I cohabitated with, I lived with in the same house, we are not fighting. We may have had a fight at the end of the relationship, but not even in all cases. But we are on speaking terms. It does not mean that we talk to each other regularly. With some, I do converse from time to time, with some not, but the last talks we had, they were in peace. And we are happy for each other that we found happiness again, that we found love again. And we look back at the years we had together and see how we evolved during those years. We look at the beautiful things we experienced, but you also can see like, yeah, but things didn't work out at a certain moment because in our growth, we grew in separate directions, which is natural because everyone has his unique direction in which he grows. Even when you take twins, when they start to grow up, they start to become different. Rare are the twins who keep doing the exact same thing and who end up marrying also identical twins who are also doing the exact same thing. That's very rare. For good reason. So if you can see life as a long journey on which you meet people and some travel with you for a while and then they go their ways and you go your way, then it's okay. This is also why certain relationships, not only the intimate ones, can be short and some can be really long, depending on the speed and the direction of evolution of the two people in that relationship, whether it's a friendship, a love relationship, a working relationship, a partnership. It all comes back to being in the here and now and acting from here, not just from here. The more you act from here, the more you are at peace with the different decisions that you make, with the things that happen to you, which are ultimately your soul's decision anyway. When being here, you also can hear what your soul wants. You can communicate with your soul. And you can communicate on soul level with people, which makes the interaction much more fun, much smoother, it's easier, deeper. And you see that in certain societies, people are not getting married so soon anymore. It's the people who are more connected with themselves, who are more at ease, more peaceful, and therefore have more peaceful relationships, have less conflict in their relationships, their love relationships, but also their friendships and life in general. So I encourage you to let go of all the thoughts and the programming and what other people may think. Fuck the other people. It's about you, how you feel, your life, your well-being. So listen to your inner voice. Act from there. And you will see the differences. And if 
you really want to do this, but you still have trouble doing it, contact me. I can teach you different techniques that help you to get more in touch with yourself. Different techniques that help you relax more, so it makes you easier for you to get in touch with yourself. So there are different things. It's a combination of things in your life, different habits, different activities that will get you to that point of more inner peace and harmony. Looking forward to hearing from you. Suggestions for another video, questions you want to be answered, or if you need help. I wish you a wonderful day. Like, subscribe, and share.